It's time to make a cake. It's time to make a cake. We're gonna make a cake. Nobody wants the corner piece, but I'm showing it anyways. It's beautiful. It's yummy. So keep on watching if you wanna know how to make this. Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're gonna be making an old school Tottenham cake. That cake that we used to get in the canteen, you know, back in the day. Until like lockdown started back in March, I, the only time I ate it was back in like year six or something i was so happy when i discovered that i could make it myself at home now the reason why i'm making it today is because my brother's birthday is this weekend the youngest one antoine that you guys have seen on my channel and he's been asking me so many times to make it so i thought why not do an early kind of birthday um cake for him i know it's really like basic but he really loves this cake but yeah i thought i'd make it and also share with you guys how i make it the recipe is really easy and will be linked in the info box now today's person's vacation shout out is going to go to Anjali Pandya thank you so much for your comment girl I really appreciate it and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and let me know in the comments below I am also really excited because Skillshare is sponsoring today's video and now Skillshare is an online learning platform for creative and curious people like me and yourself they offer thousands of classes online uh, relating to photography graphic design illustration creative writing and um, also you can build your skills on entrepreneurship, uh, business analytics, uh, how you can speak clear and concisely which is one that I struggle with sometimes especially at work. There's just so many lessons on there for you guys to check out. The lessons on Skillshare are taught by experts. Now I'm all for learning and building on my own skills and I definitely encourage you guys to do the same or try to do the same. This is a great way to explore new skills or deepen an existing passion that you may have. These lessons can help you stay inspired to express yourself and also join a community of millions of people that are there to learn now the skillshare classes include a combination of video lessons and class projects that can easily fit your schedule and skill level as well now i actually pay for the premium membership for 13 pounds a month now the first thousand people who click the link in my description box will get a free trial of skillshare premium membership so don't miss out on that guys i definitely recommend it there is a lesson that i really really like on there i actually used to play the piano back in the day when i was younger and i used to be able to read music and i really want to get into that that was one of my goals this year there are some piano lessons on skillshare provided by someone called mark and yeah the lessons are really helpful they're just under an hour long which i can easily fit in the day instead of watching you know a film or a series i could just dedicate an hour a day or an hour a week to a lesson for piano and i really want to be able to read music and play the piano again guys anyways that's enough from me i'm gonna jump straight into the video so here are all the ingredients that you're going to need for this cake you're first going to need some vanilla extract some baking powder 300 grams of caster sugar 300 grams of self-raising flour and 300 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature five eggs and 95 ml of milk so we're first going to start off with the butter now i wish i let mine out a bit more but um, what I did is I creamed it first with uh, my, my electric whisk. I did also uh, put it in the microwave for like five seconds um, and it just became this creamy consistency. Then you want to add your sugar in um, and cream this together for like I would say five minutes. You want it to get basically you need it to get really nice and fluffy and pale and it really helps the cake be like fluffy as well once it's cooked. And now you're going to add, slowly add in your eggs one at a time according to the recipe. I got a bit impatient at the end and added two. <laughs> but yeah, this is just going to help prevent, uh, the, I guess, like a curdling effect. Because sometimes the eggs don't properly mix in. So this re does really help to prevent that. that's the last of the eggs that go in yeah i'm going crazy i'm going mad with the whisk <laughs> i'm just scraping the edges with a silicone spatula just to make sure that there's no residue or just to make sure basically everything's mixed properly <laughs> and now i'm going to slowly add in my self-raising flour and trust me you're going to get flour everywhere because the dough gets kind of thick so it ends up getting everywhere just beware that rhymed <laughs> so 
so i'm adding roughly a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of um, vanilla extract and then finally all you have to do is just add in the milk and i did this in two parts and i made sure everything was mixed properly <coughs> So you just want the batter to be looking like this. I lined my baking tray with some parchment paper and I'm just going to dump this all in. I love like working with batter, like, there's just something so satisfying about it. I'm just using my spatula to make it all even, just lay it flat basically. And I'm going to put this in the oven at 160 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes and it should look like this i did put a toothpick in to make sure that it was cooked throughout and here i'm going to use 400 grams of icing sugar and eight tablespoons of milk to create the icing for the the top and i just got a whisk and hand mixed it, it takes like two minutes it's so so easy and you want a consistency like this and i poured it all over the cake now it does kind of like fall on the edges you could actually do this in like keep the the cake in a baking tray like in the the baking tin but for the video i took it out so it just kind of like dribbled on the edges but it's okay you're gonna need some sprinkles some colorful sprinkles and this just basically finishes off the cake i put a bunch on top and it looks like this honestly it's not the prettiest of the cakes but it's just so nice like just those simple basic cakes and i used to get so so excited when this was on the menu um, when i was in primary school so yeah all right guys it's now taste test time i didn't really wait for the sugar to cool so if you want to prevent the dripping put it in the fridge first mmm that is so nice that with custard mmm 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 I'm really happy with how well it's risen as well that is so good I know my brother's gonna love this cake he's been asking for it for days and it's kind of like his early cake because he wants a different cake on the day of his birthday but I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely try this recipe it's so easy and who doesn't love old school tottenham cake like it's just so good you know it just reminds me of my childhood anyways give this video a thumbs up don't forget to check out the link in the info box to sign up to skillshare and i will see you in my next video bye